you will see that um, the amount of time that shows uh, here uh, progresses uh, very quickly. Again, this will depend on the speed of your computer. We can see the progress over here, so it looks like we're about one third of the way in the in the in this stage of uh, installing the devices and the drivers. Keep in mind that um, the BIOS uh, has some say as to which devices are recognized. If you had gone into the BIOS and disable devices, then Windows would not be able to recognize them. I am going to pause the recording and uh, we'll continue as soon as uh, we move to the next stage. The next, the next uh, window has displayed and uh, Windows XP is asking us to select the language that we wish to select. So we could customize it and choose uh, any language that we wish to install. Now we're uh, going to accept English as the default and we will click on next. The next window is to enable us to type a um, name for the organization. So I'm going to put a um, unanimous name Here I'm going to put the username. And I'm going to click next. And now I am required to enter the product key number. I enter the key number and now it's taking me to the next uh, window where I put the name of the computer and this name will be used to identify the computer on the, on the network and here we're going to type the administrator password and we have to type the password twice if we make a mistake it will prompt us to retype the password. Now we click next. Now we're uh, asked to confirm the uh, format of the date and the time. So today is October 5th, it's 11.48. We are in California, which is uh, Greenwich Mean Time minus eight hours. So we're gonna click on next. And the installation continues at this point it is installing the network drivers, recognizing our network card, uh, connecting to, to the network, and getting 
the uh, settings for for this computer getting an IP number so that it can connect to the network at this time we have 30 minutes left to go for the installation now it's asking us whether we wish to use uh, typical settings or custom settings uh, at this point I will select typical settings and click on next now we get to choose whether we want to uh, use this computer in a work group or to a domain we can change this at a later time so I will accept the default information work group and click next so it's copying more files from the CD to the hard drive I will pause the recording until we move to the next uh, stage. As you see, we are completing installation of the um, Windows files. So this, this uh, stage of the install will complete and we will move into the finalizing the installation. The prompt shows that we have 23 minutes left for the installation. At this point, the progress bar shows that it is installing the start menu items, uh, which is on the start button, and we have 19 minutes left to go for the in complete installation. The progress bar shows that now it is uh, register, registering the components of the computer with 17 minutes left to go. At this point, the progress bar is showing us that it's save, saving the settings, and we have 9 minutes to go for the installation. Notice over here that we are on the fifth stage of the installation and uh, we should be finished uh, shortly so installation has uh, finished the computer is in the process of rebooting and uh, we will have our first initial Windows XP boot up at which time uh, Windows uh, will be booting up uh, and uh, on the first boot up it is initializing all of the devices so it takes a little bit longer it should prompt us for the name of the administrator and the password we click on next uh, we will turn on automatic updates later for for the time being we will say not right now and we will accept the default that the computer will connect through a local area network 
and we will not uh, register at this time. We can register later. And now it's asking us for the users' names. And we enter the, their names and click on Next. And we click Finish. So this will create the accounts for the computer users. Now we see the welcome screen to welcomes to the Windows XP installation. Now we see the desktop. This is the name of the user that we created. We will need to install the service packs. We need to install antivirus. We need to install the drivers for all of our devices um, that we received uh, or we obtained from the computer manufacturer. And if everything is fine, we can click on the internet. And if we have internet access, uh, we will connect to to the network and just to test it we already connected to MSN so we're going to go to the SF gate the website and we see that it is working So we, again, we need to do the install of the service packs, the drivers, antivirus, and any other updates. So this concludes the uh, video on how to install Windows XP.